Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you how to set up EMU Deck and, you know, use Emulation Station for Dolphin, which allows you to play Wii and GameCube games. Just want to say, this video does not condone piracy, it is for educational purposes. So to do this, it's really simple with, you know, EMU Deck and you just press the Steam button, then you need to go to Desktop, click Power, click Switch to Desktop. Okay, so I'm going to... Ended up flipping the camera. I'm just going to assume that you never gone to desktop mode, so I'll explain how to use it. Use the right trackpad to move the mouse. You can click the trackpad in for a left click. You can also click the screen for a left click. You can click the R2 button in for a left click. For right click, you press the L2 button. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's download EMU Deck. So open up Firefox. It's Firefox. If it's not there, Go to your launcher and like all applications will have it okay so click on the search bar and keyboard doesn't pop up you have to press the steam button plus x to make it pop up take a few seconds to, you know just wait patiently go to emudeck.com then link will be in the description go to download click download installer let me focus in a bit and okay this is the same copy the installer to the desktop which you know we're gonna do that's fine okay so now if I open up the folder so unless if you've already been in here and switched you know, I mean into Firefox and change your download directory then go to the appropriate download directory otherwise so I've got so many of these downloaded so otherwise you just right click your emu deck click copy go off there Go off there, go to desktop, right click, paste one file. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. And now you just open up EMU Deck just by double clicking it. Again, I use R2. You can use one of the other methods that I showed you. And so for me, it's talking about update because I've already got it installed. For you guys, it'll talk about, you know, a new installation. But the, effectively, the process is similar. Go to custom. You want to go to continue. And here, you can choose where you want to install it. SD card, internal storage, or custom directory. Recommend SD card, especially if you've got like a terabyte. And also the great thing about the you know, SD card is that you can you know, have you know, different ones for different stuff as well. Just bear in mind, with the SD card, the SD card has to be formatted using your Steam Deck. It cannot be formatted using your computer, for example. I'll have a video in the description to show you how to do that. If you've already done that, fantastic. Click continue and choose your device. Oh, it's just Steam Deck for us. And now choose your emulator. So I'm gonna deselect PCSX2, select Dolphin for Wii and GameCube, and that's it. And again, for updating the emulator's configuration, click Dolphin. Don't worry, if you've already set up EMU Deck before, let's say you've set it up for PlayStation 2 games via PCSX2, if you come and do this, deselecting PCSX2 will not delete and you know, ruin that configuration or anything like that. It just won't touch it. So, you know, just bear that in mind so, so you won't have any issue like that. Because I did think that initially. Click continue. And, okay, configure aspect ratio for GameCube. So you get this option. If you go to 4x3, this is the original aspect ratio, the 16x9, and this uses widescreen hacks. I recommend that because it's not stretching, it's using, you know, widescreen hacks to actually show more of the 3D world. Click continue, and you can choose the theme, I'll stick with Epic Noir, that's fine for me. Click next, install homebrew games, uh, I mean, I'm not interested in that, I'm going to select no. And, okay, so this is saying we are completing your installation. This will obviously depend on how fast your internet speed is, because you'll be downloading stuff. It'll fast depend on how many emulators you've selected. For me, I've obviously only selected Dolphin, so it's not going to be that long, to be fair. Okay, so now that we've installed it, I'm going to show you where to add a game. So what you want to do is go to your folder. Obviously, open up wherever you've installed it. For me, it's on the SD card, so primary, emulation, that's what you'll get. 
and you'll get a few folders, folders so you get stuff like you know BIOS you'll get folders like you know HD packs ROMs but if we're interested in the ROM folder so go to ROMs go to Wii and GameCube so I've already added it right here so if I go to Wii I've already added the game and then I've got some games in my GameCube folder as well so feel free to you know Know, add the games or probably just copy and paste obviously i can't show you, you know, how to download these games but you if you literally just google the game name plus like we then download you should be able to get it and if you have any questions about any part of this you know video feel free to post on our discord group as well and we'll help you out okay so now that's that done the next thing you want to do is launch up steam rom manager and just click yes to this when it's talking about you know closing steam This is very important. First of all, press this button. Uh, so it turns everything off. And then just manually turn on Emulation Station DE and Emulators. Because by default, you'll have what you just installed activated, which is like Wii, GameCube. Problem with that is, if you was to go with that method, you'll put all your games in your regular Steam Deck game library. Maybe you feel like a 50 games and a 100 games from a different emulator, I can clog it up. If you don't do it this way and do it the way I'm showing you, where only Emulation Station DE and Emulators is selected, it organizes it better and I'll show you momentarily. Click save, you'll probably get an error, I always do. That's fine, I'll find it saves anyway. Go to preview and click generate app list. And once it's done, if you've got multiple emulators selected and only two appear, you just maximize and the rest do appear. And just something to bear in mind it is you know configuring it and you can you know change the thumbnail like so really simple you can download the thumbnail we'll click here and choose a third party thumbnail that you've got maybe you've got it off google maybe you've created it you can do that click save app list and now close that down okay so one last thing i want to show you so if I just open up EMU deck again, and you're just gonna go to tools and stuff this time. So you can get to the Steam ROM manager again from here. That's not you know difficult to get back to. Next, obviously you can install power tools, decky controls, and whatnot. With that, you're gonna need the sudo password. So you know add that. That's just the you know the master password. And you know there's some other quick settings as well that you can you know have a you know look at. But for the most part, you don't need to mess around with this. The if you want to update your emulator tools, go here, click update flat pack and update app images. Do both because depending on what's on there, maybe installed with one or the other. And you can also go to save backup. This is cool. That allows you to save your backups to cloud storage, still in beta. So just bear that in mind. And the check BIOS, again, we don't need to concern ourselves with that. And then there's, you know, quick settings as well. Again, I'll, uh, yeah, I already went over that one. And the EMU deck compressor, it compresses games. If you click run compression tool, I'm not going to do it. It will compress your games up to 70%. Great little thing. If you've got a lot of games, it can take a while. And if you go to emulation guides, you can see some guides. So if I go here, select the emulator, which is Dolphin. It has some information about what to do. I'll have a separate video, you know, covering all the hotkeys anyway. And you can reset configuration if you mess something up. That's it. Now we can close this down, go back to gaming mode, and I'm going to show you how to run the games. There's two methods. You can use Emulation Station, or you can directly use the emulator. There's benefits to both. Using Emulation Station, the main benefit is it's like a nice, clean interface, but using the emulator directly has a lot more customization. So they may not appear here. Just click your Steam button, go to Library, and you'll see, you'll notice that the, that the new tab, if it, you didn't already have it, that's collections. Go to emulation, they will appear in non-Steam library. But if you have other stuff there as well, it can cause a bit of confusion. So go directly here, go to emulation station, go to play. And find the game, so we, um, so just 
obviously there's a few settings that you can do here but for the most part you're going to leave this as default so that's one of the great things about using emu deck is it configures it all for you it configures you know settings it does a really good job out with it and for the most part it configures what else does it configure again it configures you know your control which is a big one to be fair and you know they just work out of the box And the Wii games run really well. So I'm going to be adding Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 later on. Little favourites of mine. Favourites of a lot of people. And, you know, here we go. So obviously you can use the mouse to, you know. Uh, I mean the touchscreen to control the pointer. Okay, so I'm going to go off that now. So, as you can see, you're playing the game. Let me show you the other method. The other method is to go to here and go to Dolphin directly. Before you do that, go to your control, the controller. And here is very important. You want to go to right trackpad behavior. By default, it won't be selected on mouse. Probably be selected I think, as joystick. Go to as mouse, otherwise you won't be able to properly navigate in the emulator. Next, you want to map the right mouse button, the left mouse button, and escape key. So the left mouse button, I mapped it to R4, so I'm using the back buttons. So I'm not overriding any of the main controls. So if you just click there, go to mouse, you know, left. If I go to right, go to obviously mouse, go right and go to the escape button. And go to keyboard, escape, there we go. Okay, so now that that, that is configured, go back, go to play. And you'll see this interface here. And the Super Mario Sunshine and Time Splitters 2 are GameCube games, so just bear that in mind. And I have the mouse now, and I'm just using the right trackpad to do that. I can use the touchscreen, not very, you know, not the best <laughs> experience. And if I go to graphics, for example, and using the back button here. The reason we need escape is if we go down here, I can't get my mouse out of this version all the way to click close. Using the R5, which is escape key, it will click close it, it, it saves it automatically so you don't have to click a save button and then from here you can choose the back end renderer to like you know open gl for example you can you know change the aspect ratio as well it forces it to 16 by 9 i prefer auto if i'm being honest so that way it does the you know the best one i'd say and there's a bunch of other configurations that you can do as well like changing the internal resolution increase it to have a what's it called a better looking experience or less jagged edges find 2x is probably the sweet spot and it works really well you can add some anti-aliasing feel free to you know check out all these menus like the hacks as well and advance you can show fps but you can do that from your regular menu let me click the escape button there we go and yeah so obviously you can use the right click to you know right click here there's a few different properties that you can have a look at feel free to again have a look at it if you know more about what you're doing here and if you click uh, options you can go to controller settings and here so if you want to emulate your gamecube controller you go here the way for Wii, you go here and you can remap the controls you can do stuff for like the motion simulator as well so the point is just map to the obviously the mouse but you can map the other stuff like tilt swing to different aspects to you know buttons to analog stick movements so there's a lot of customization here you can do and you can you know create profiles save profiles benefit of that is you will be able to have different profiles different configurations for your controllers for different games different game genres different players so feel free to take take a look at that what i find is this menu i can go to the close <laughs> it's, it's kind of silly but i can't go to the one with the graphics one for some reason Ooh, it's gone out of it now <laughs> I just can't get in it at all so again, you're gonna have those issues. So having a escape button is useful. Now I can just double click this. So if I was to just double click it, as you can see, it launches up. It's that simple. And obviously if I was to increase the volume, you'll hear.
50 cc that's not going to go anywhere i'm going to get into game place up and show you it working Find like 200 cc's is too fast on the you know on the newer games. Woohoo! That little boost. But there you go. So as you can see, it's working on pause. Can't really play, you know, whilst recording like this. But that's it. That's how you set up Dolphin for Wii and GameCube games on your Steam Deck using EMU Deck, which is a great method to go down. If you have any questions, feel free to post on our Discord group, link in the description, or quickly just post in the comments. All other links will be in the description as well. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what other EMU Deck and Steam Deck videos you would like to see next. Bye bye.